Welcome back everyone. So in this video, we're going to be talking about one biotech penny stock, tackling addiction, which has one of the world's biggest unmet medical needs. And substance and behavioral addictions affect over 1.3 billion people worldwide. Yet all current treatments have high failure rates. And the global substance addiction treatment industry was valued at about $16 billion in 2021 and is forecast to increase to about $25 billion by 2027. And the answer to this is psychedelic healthcare, which will become an essential tool in the treatment of worsening mental health issues. And according to the mental health charity Mind, more than two thirds of adults with mental health problems reported that their mental health worsened during lockdown. And we still don't have a full picture of what the impact of this will be or how the pandemic has affected the general population. And so in response, pharmaceutical companies are looking to significantly invest in new medical treatments to address this problem. And even better, as governments too are encouraged to act swiftly to protect the welfare of their citizens. And more so, investors are turning towards psychedelic healthcare companies for three key reasons, which is the global need for effective mental health treatments, evolving legislation and regulation, and widely supportive public opinion. And so I have for you today, one top biopharma penny stock, which is developing a better solution to treat addiction and is backed by the world's leading experts. So you want to make sure you watch the video till the end so you hear from the chief research officer, share insights on the approach and the big opportunities which lie ahead. And also remember that my videos are not financial advice but only the facts presented for you to do your own DD and make your investment decisions accordingly. So please do me a favor to drop a quick like on the video to spread its reach and hit the bell so you never miss out on any of these gems from the channel. And YouTube also tells me that only about 23% of my viewers are subscribed to the channel. And so if you are watching and not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing with all notifications turned on so you get all the video updates instantly. And there's a link in the description below to my private Discord where we'll call these gems there early and you join a strong community to help you on your investment journey. So please check out the link and see for yourself. Thank you so much and with that said, let's talk about Awaken Life Sciences Corp ticker number on the OTCQB AWKNF which is now sitting at 91 cents per share with a market cap of $22 million. Awaken like most other stocks out there hasn't been spared by the recent market sell-off as it is down 25% over the last month heading towards all-time lows of 91 cents per share which puts it down by over 61% since the broader market sell-off intensified. It hit its peak of $2.44 in January before giving up most of those gains. But once you hear their story, then you get to truly appreciate the potential which they have. So here's what's new. Awaken Life Sciences is a biotechnology company researching, developing and delivering psychedelic therapeutics to better treat addiction. And Awaken's team consists of world's leading chemists, scientists, psychiatrists and psychologists who are advancing the next generation of psychedelic drugs and therapies to be used in combination. And through clinical trials, their team has shown that this approach has the potential to be more effective than any addiction treatment currently available and they now aspire to become the market leader in effective addiction treatment, meeting a vast global need that is filled by current approaches. And so in essence, Awaken is disrupting this underperforming industry by rapidly advancing the next generation of psychedelic drugs and therapies to be used in combination through clinical research and clinical stage trials. But before we go any further, Let's hear from the Chief Research Officer, Professor David Knott, on who they are, their unique approach to treating addiction and what opportunities lie ahead. Well, up till now, there have been two approaches to addiction. Um, one is to get people to stop using a drug, which is not so difficult, uh, and then tell them to keep abstinent, which is very difficult. And then the other approach for some addictions is to say, well, we have a substitute therapy, so we might give you methadone for heroin addiction. So we give you a safer, but still addictive substance. And uh, what awakens approach is to say, well, let's try it. We can get certainly stop people using drugs. We can get them detoxed, as we say, get them off the drug. But why don't we see if we can break down the processes, which the brain processes, which drive the need to relapse, that break down the craving or the other factors, which basically encourage people or force people 
to go back to taking the drugs, even if they don't want to. Okay, and of course, Awaken announced the groundbreaking results of your Phase 2B trial released in January of this year. Um, with your years of experience in the field, like you mentioned, you've been doing this for a while, what does a trial and results like this mean? What could the potential impact be? Well, it was a very powerful effect. So I just briefly explain that it was a, it was a quite a complicated trial, but in essence, the trial compared ketamine therapy, three ketamine treatments, as part of mindfulness psychotherapy, helping people to use the ketamine to get away from their memories and their cravings for alcohol and use mindfulness as a way of breaking free. And that was compared with placebo and um, just an educational package telling people how bad alcohol was. And there was a very big difference. The, the ketamine plus mindfulness was the best outcome. And it showed you know, very significant benefits over the more, uh, the other approach, which in itself actually did work. It's better than what we normally do. But but the, uh, the value of adding the, the disruptor, the ketamine disruptor to the sort of state of the art mindfulness therapy was very clear. And, you know, now we're doing re repeating the study in a, in a, to see if we can replicate that in a phase three study, in which case I think there's a very good chance that um, it'll be marketing. It'll get a, a license, a marketing authorization as a as a combined therapy. That's fantastic. OK, and of course, another big detail here is the number of awakened clinics now open in Europe. Can people start to receive this treatment now or is there going to be a wait period? No, we are starting. The safety evidence we have, I mean, ketamine has been around a long time, so we know it's a safe drug, it's an approved drug. We're using it off license, but, but we can we can buy the pure form. We've got clinics open in Bristol with a, a big London clinic is opening soon. There's a clinic in Oslo. We're hoping to move up to Trondheim as well. So in the next month, we'll probably have five clinics, four clinics open in Europe. And we're, the ambition is to get up to about 10 clinics. And there's a lot of demand. We have many hundreds of people waiting. But I should emphasize we're not simply treating addiction. We're also offering a ketamine therapy for other disorders where it's been shown to work, particularly resistant depression. Well, you can go on their website and, and uh, keep reading that. And you, they're on Twitter. And you can also follow me on Twitter, Prof David Nutt on Twitter. And I'll tweet about uh, every really important outcome that, and when the clinics open, etc. Wow, the potential for a phase 2B trial to get to marketing authorization and a number of clinics in the pipeline and already opening just demonstrates how real this opportunity is, which is really, really interesting. And in markets like this, one thing which we are always interested in is where the growth is going to come from and their path to commercialization and they've certainly got it covered here. They have two clinics scheduled to be open in 2022 and one just recently opened in London and with a strong pipeline to be open across the European region. And so if you look at their ambition for 2024, where they anticipate between 15 to 20 clinics to be in place with an average of 3 million pounds per clinic, that's an upper top line revenue estimate of about 60 million pounds or about 73 million dollars, which is just brilliant. And for a 26 million dollar market cap, it clearly speaks plenty of upside potential here. And this is where it gets even better or the icing on the cake with Awaken, which is with their peer comparables. Where when you look at their market cap at 46 million dollars Canadian, again this is a snapshot pre this market sell off in April, which is relative across the board. And so when you look at the market cap against the progress and depth of their pipeline of clinical trials, where they have drugs in phase 2B, which is where the larger competitors are like Compass, MindMed and Cybin, it goes to show you how undervalued they are. And even if one conservatively used Cybin valuation as a median multiple, you begin to talk of an over 4x upside from current levels. So plenty in the tank to push awake and forward should they deliver to their clinic opening plans and deliver on their clinical trials. Awaken recently received regulatory approval for their flagship clinic in London to begin delivering treatments. And they say the London clinic will begin delivering ketamine assisted therapy for addiction and mental health. And the flagship London clinic is Awaken's third clinic adding to the company's two operating clinics located in Bristol, UK and Oslo in Norway. And the clinics deliver ketamine assisted therapy to treat addiction and several mental health disorders. And so clients seeking treatment for alcohol use disorder will receive Awaken's groundbreaking treatment protocol developed in their recently published Phase 2B clinical trial. And Anthony Tennyson, Awaken CEO, commented that this is a very exciting moment for Awaken and for ketamine assisted therapy overall, as it starts to become a more accessible option for patients. And most importantly, it provides an effective treatment option for so many when other current therapies or treatments fall short. And the Care Quality Commission giving them this recognition again 
signals a positive direction for the UK and Europe towards embracing ketamine-assisted therapy as a mainstream treatment. And Awaken reported their fiscal fourth quarter and fiscal year 2022 results, and the CEO stated that Awaken's fiscal year 21 was a foundational year for the company where they established their business model of researching, developing and delivering combined therapeutics to treat addiction with a near-term focus on alcohol use disorder, a condition affecting 400 million people globally. And this business model enables them to develop new and potentially more effective combined therapeutics for treating addiction and also to gather real-world data to support interactions with regulatory agencies prior to commercializing their combined therapeutics at scale. And looking forward to the rest of the calendar year of 2022, they plan to progress the alcohol use disorder phase 2b and phase 3 trial, they will complete the early stage basket study in humans for behavioral addictions, they will begin commercial activity in the United States by licensing their alcohol use disorder treatments to clinics, and they will also continue to build and grow their clinics platform. And they achieve a 12 month revenue of over $200,000 via Awakens Clinics for the fiscal year ended January 31st, 2022 compared to nil in the prior year and the Q421 revenue was over $200,000 compared to a Q421 revenue of $31,000, a 544% increase quarter on quarter. So some triple digit revenue growth here. And so in summary, Awaken has multiple scalable revenue streams from their clinics. They expect therapeutics commercialization from 2022 and they have a revolutionary approach and global research leaders in the field of psychedelic treatments for addiction. What an interesting story and outlook here. So some very, very interesting and mind-blowing prospects I have for this penny stock, but only consider getting in if the price is right for you and if you fully understand the risk. This video is not financial advice, a buy or sell recommendation, but it's meant to bring some new and exciting penny stocks to your attention for you to do your own research. And as always, I would love to hear from you. So please let me know your thoughts on these top penny stocks in the comment sections below and what other penny stocks are catching your eyes lately. And if you're new to my channel, please ensure to subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please check out this video right here or this playlist right here to watch equally insightful content from the channel. Thank you so much for being here and I look forward to having you in my next video. Thank you.